this seemed to upset one of my passengers. Wait for it, there's more! Okay, hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Tuesday and I planned on starting to vlog yesterday but I operated a foreleg which was delayed. I think we ended our day two hours behind schedule so I really need this coffee. We operated our first two flights, they were fine and then when the third flight came around a thunderstorm also rolled in which is fine so then we taxied back to the gate and we had to disembark our passengers we waited for the storm to pass and then we boarded again about an hour later when our passengers came back on and they boarded again and i was making announcements again and everything um one of my passengers just he didn't like me he was just so unhappy I think he was unhappy with the situation but from like what I could gather from what he was saying because like I don't speak a lot of French but you know I obviously can get familiar with certain words and it seems like he was really upset that we were just making announcements in English and not in French because our demo announcement is in English and French because that's a recorded announcement that we play while we do our demo but the announcements like if there's turbulence or uh when we land and stuff like that and i'm like welcoming people saying like, like please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until we reach the gate that's something i say in english and i'm not a french speaker and this seemed to upset one of my passengers yesterday he just was very riled up about the fact that we weren't making announcements in english even though i knew he could speak english because he had spoken to me in english when we were boarding so i don't know and i like apologized and everything like that but he just he said something like super dismissive to me and there were these two ladies behind him who just cackled at whatever he had just said like i'm sure he told me off and they just found it to be the most hilarious thing on earth and i was just like i mean never mind the interaction with the passenger i was more like disappointed in the fact that those women like women you know are acting that way i don't know like they don't technically owe me any loyalty they don't know me from a bar of soap but just i don't know common decency i would never do that but there was nothing I could do. I'm not a French speaker. I'm not required to speak French to be in this country. I'm not required to speak French to work for this client because our client is not French. They're an organization that just happens to operate flights in this country. Even if I had started learning French when I came back to this job, I would have had a month's worth of French lessons. I probably still wouldn't have been able to answer this gentleman <laughs> very usefully at least. So I just, it was very disappointing. I was just very like, sad about it, you know? Like, I don't like encounters like that. Like, there's nothing I could do. I can't will myself to speak French suddenly just because you would prefer that. It's not like I made absolutely no effort to make sure that the people understood anything because our ground staff here speak French and English. When we came back and we had to disembark passengers and stuff, I had the ground staff come on board and I asked him to just translate what I had just said. I have to disembark, we're gonna have to wait until the weather passes and then we will board again and then we'll be off to our destination. And so I had the ground staff also like say that in French to them so they could understand. I thought I had gone above and beyond. I don't know, clearly that is not the case. The flight after that, I only had four passengers and all of them were just the sweetest people. I came back, I vented to my roommate, the other cabin crew that's here in the apartment. She made me feel better and then we spent the evening watching Titanic and that just filled my cup up. I'm sorry to start this vlog off on like a bit of a somber note but I also just wanted to share my experience with you guys that it isn't all glorious, it isn't all roses and unicorns while I'm here. Even though I'm not flying for an airline, I do still have some not so great passenger interactions that just make me sad considering how excited i was to come back to this and how excited i am to be here I, it is what it is i'm over it but it just sucked in the moment you know anyway happy tuesday welcome to this week in my life it is the 19th today so i have about 15 days left in niger crazy how time flies 
the traffic downstairs is not looking bueno at all. It took us forever to get home from the airport yesterday because of this slow traffic. And my roommate and I want to go to the store a little bit later to get some things, you know, some yummies. So, yeah, wish us luck. upon a clothing store which was the first clothing store I've seen since I've been in this country and I've been here for almost three weeks both my roommate and I were like okay let's just let's just go have a quick look-see but of course she came out with a full outfit I found the skirt there was a dress guys there was a dress that I was obsessed with I fell in love it was love at first sight but unfortunately they only had it in size small so I just loved it so much regardless even though it was just a size small that I honestly considered removing a rib that was the only part where it wouldn't fit me was just here by my ribs but oh gosh I think that they should get more sizing next week so I will go back next week to try to get this dress but it was stunning it was beautiful like the print the silhouette of it everything the back was beautiful I just so I picked up the skirt instead and it's I guess it's actually Zara brand a lot of the clothing there had Zara tags so I'm not sure if it's like originally from Zara or what the case is but I paid 7,000 Siva for this skirt, which is about 190 Rand. But it's this cute little flowy skirt. You guys know my style at this point, I'm sure. But this one, I love the color. I love the print. It's got a side zip here. And it's got this little twisty thing on it, which I really love. I love the way it looks when it's on me. I am obsessed. So I'm happy with this purchase, but... I still really wish I had gotten the dress, but like I said, I will go back. I will go back. It's a beautiful 28 degrees Celsius with a lovely breeze, so we decided to come chill by the pool. We're not swimming, we're just chilling. It is 9 30 in the morning wednesday i'm not flying today so i'm trying to be as productive as possible so i'm doing my laundry i changed my bedding i tidied up my room i just wrote a to-do list for today i have to submit my fdp today which is like our flight duty period we have to we have to individually submit it ourselves to our managers so i have to do that because it's something i'm supposed to do every week and it's already wednesday and i haven't done last week's fdp and then i need to get started on my one assignment that's due in a couple of weeks so hopefully i can do that i need to go to the store pick up a few things i don't have eggs and i really want eggs for breakfast today and then just a random few other things like checking out my etsy notifications and then just working on my monthly budget so 
that is the plan for today hopefully i can get through everything i do feel so much better after monday's flight and stuff um i try very hard not to be like a toxic positivity kind of person who's just always like the glass is half full you gotta see the bright side of everything blah 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 blah, blah. like there's something wrong with you if you're having a sad day or a bad day like no not at all that's not me at all i try to approach things with the utmost positivity of course i don't go into anything expecting it not to work out but at the same time if things don't work out or if things are sad or things are upsetting then i definitely try to share that with you guys because you know the glass isn't always half full so yeah i just thought i would update you guys on that that i am feeling much much better from how i was <laughs> at the beginning of this vlog i didn't get a whole lot actually i got a loaf of bread 10 eggs four of these cook zeros yeah that's literally the entire haul that's everything i got I'm trying really hard not to like over shop on groceries and stuff because I did bring a bunch of stuff with me so I'm trying to make things for especially lunch and dinner that use up the ingredients that I brought up with me from South Africa because otherwise it's a waste. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I am starting it off in the gym it's already 12 because it's taken me the last two hours to talk myself into coming to the gym because i'm just feeling super lazy today but we're gonna power through we're gonna get this workout done <laughs> done i did lose an earring in the meantime so i need to switch out my earring i literally just bought this multi-pack of just a bunch of stud earrings that i could wear so i'm gonna have to change them because i could not find this other one it's okay i guess it was time to switch it up i do want to do my nails today actually i did buy one of these little uv lamps from take a lot before i left so it would be nice, I'm just looking, I have, I brought these two colors with me, can you see what color that is? No. There's like a dark wine red and a little bit more of a neutral. I also need to finish reading through my novel for my essay. I haven't even eaten yet and it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I feel like the day is getting away from me, it just took me forever to get started. I'm struggling to wake up, but I also have to be in bed early tonight because I'm flying tomorrow and we're doing a four leg, so. This is the dessert that I got yesterday from Amandine, the patisserie here. I already tasted one of these yesterday, but they're pretty good, these profiteroles. Mmm, that's good. Here are my nails. I just did them. I chose the nude color. I really like it. I think it came out nice and I like to keep my nails short. So I'm very happy with this. I'm about to eat my dinner, edit for a little bit and then go to bed because it's already 7.48 and uh, I'd really rather be in bed by 9 so that I can be up at 5 for my flight tomorrow. Good morning. I'm about to put my face on and make a coffee. Get the last of my things and get out of here i'm operating a four leg today it's basically going to be two turns and these days we've been having really bad weather just like the thunderstorms and the thunder clouds around the area so i'm expecting it to be a fairly long day i know i have hooded eyes but i decided to play around with a little bit of eyeliner on my eyes here yeah. so i think it turned out good this is the look i still need to fix my hair and then I need to finish getting ready, pack my lunch, make myself a cup of coffee, and go to work. So, I'll see you guys later. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights
Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Okay, you guys saw that when I got home, I was kind of just done. I immediately had a shower. I scarfed down my dinner because I was proper starving. I contemplated going to bed while the sun is still out, but I ended up on the phone with Megan and having a nice hour and a half long bestie catch up session, which is always very, very welcome and always very needed. But that's because today was just such a long day. It just ended up being so much longer than it needed to be. Also, it was like 38 degrees the entire day. One of my passengers asked me to increase the heat on the plane. She was like, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> No ma'am, no it's not. <laughs> but anyway, I think I told you guys this morning that we were meant to do a four leg. So we were meant to go from Niamey to Diffa first, which is two hours away, and then back to Niamey, and then we were meant to go from Niamey to Zinda, which is about an hour away, but it's also on your way to Diffa, and come back to Niamey. So that was supposed to be our day. And then we found out that Diffa, the place that's two hours away, doesn't have any fuel. So. Our first flight ended up being two flights, so we ended up having to fly to Zinda with I think about nine or ten passengers, and then we had to stop in Zinda, refuel, take the same passengers and continue on to Difa because there's no fuel in Difa, and we needed to have enough fuel to drop those people off and then take the next few passengers, which we had like a full flight coming back, like 34 passengers. A full flight, 34. <laughs> and then we had to come all the way back to Niame with them. So we needed to have enough fuel for that. And then from there, we did the Zinda flight and back. So we ended up actually doing five flights today, not just four. Also, after the first three flights when we were back in Niame, before we could head off to Zinda and back, we needed to refuel. But the refueling truck decided to go to the 747 that was parked next to us and refuel the 747 instead of us, even though we had called for refueling first. And the 747 is massive. It took like an hour and a half for them to refuel the 747. And I had two transit passengers on my plane. So I had two passengers just sitting there like, <laughs> and I was also like, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. The fuel truck is over there. It's a small airport. There is no other one. We literally have to wait for it to be done, refueling an entire 747 <laughs> before it can come and refuel our 135. It just, it took forever. We literally got bored. Yeah, like I said, it just ended up being a much longer day than necessary. So when we flew back at the end of the day after our last flight, all of us, like my pilots, myself, the engineer, we were just ready to get off that plane and come home so that we could eat and the last passenger somehow got his bag stuck in the overhead bin like our doors like slide open and closed in the overhead and i don't know what happened but the strap of his backpack just got stuck in between the sliding door thing so like he was struggling to get it out another passenger tried to help him couldn't do it i tried to help them i couldn't do it i eventually got hold of our engineer and he came and him and i were like struggling and playing with it until eventually we got it out. That was wonderful. Wait for it. There's more. On his way out, the same last passenger decides to hand me a card and say, oh, but here's my number. Please call me so we can meet up and you can teach me English. An African man will still. And of course, my first officer has to tease me and be like, Andy, I've been here for 18 years. I've never gotten this phone number. You're here for two weeks and everyone's handing you their phone numbers. I was like, hey, listen, if you stopped hiding in that flight deck and let the passengers see your pretty face too, you would get phone numbers. Anyway, all of this just to say that my day ended up being longer than expected. We were meant to be done by like three and I think we only finished at five. It wasn't the worst of delays, but just pairing it with hunger and 38 degrees Celsius weather, it just was not a good mix. But you know what? We all have great senses of humor, I must say. My passengers were great today, so were my pilots, and we just all made it a really good day. So 
got to be grateful for that my week has definitely ended on a much more positive note than what it started as and you know what i'm sitting here telling you guys a story and i'm realizing it has been over a year since i told you guys a funny passenger story a funny like this was my flying day these are the random interactions i had today this is the kind of stuff you can expect when you're a flight attendant and just wow it's like i'm in another universe already i just cannot believe this i love my job so much <laughs> thank you guys so much for spending this week with me i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed me taking you along please give the video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also subscribe if you're new here and you like my videos i would really really appreciate that that would help my channel out so very much have a fantastic week or weekend or evening or morning or day whenever you're watching this i hope that you continue spreading good vibes and being kind and i'll see you all in the next video bye Thank mm -hmm. you.